and Jay Wall. Jay Wall representing the Atlanta Falcons. Joke, the Kansas City Chiefs. And it looks like it is going to be Joke on defense to start this game. So you're going to get to see that Atlanta Falcons offense. We just saw in that first game of the day. Julio Jones, Devontae Freeman, Tevin Coleman, Matty Ice at quarterback. 20 game minutes away from filling a spot in the round of 16. Three more wins for these guys. Get yourself some money. $25,000 prize pool here at DreamHack Dallas, and we are so happy to have you along with us, both in the stream and live here at DreamHack as You'll see a, a delay a game, and they're going to decline that. A gentleman's agreement to begin the game as they're setting their formation subs. We get to some high-level Madden football. Yeah, this is an exciting matchup. When you talk about cream of the crop type Madden players, this is the type of matchup you're thinking about. Young Jay Wall, he's, he's a player that has a lot of hype around him, and when you talk to some of the best players in the world about who are some of the tougher guys out there. Jay Wall's a name that will consistently come up. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. First and 10 for Jay Wall on offense, sending Austin Hooper from right to left. It's gonna be a handoff to Devontae Freeman. Joke making the stop defensively. Only a yard on the play, and that's gonna be a key for Joke in this game, containing that very potent rushing attack from the Falcons. Would you say that Joke is a more of an offensive or defensive player? I've always considered him more of a defensive guy. For sure. His, his offense is, has never been out of the world. He just kind of makes good reads, uh, moves the ball efficiently, doesn't make a lot of mistakes. But on defense, I've really seen him lock people up, get stingy. Second down to nine. Jay Wall stepping up in the pocket, nowhere to go. Bailey with the sack and a big third down early in this game. You can see on the screen as it dropped down that aggressive pass rush on for Joke. I don't understand how dudes get away with the aggressive pass rush on the couch play game. You can see them switch the coaching adjustment. It's couch play. There's the fake snap. He's just not getting them to jump. Third and 13. First drive of this round of 32 game. Remember, guys, you can go to dh.je slash Madden Dallas to follow along with the brackets and the standings. We are single elimination for the next two days till we crown the first ever DreamHack Madden champion. Quick throw to the outside. Good coverage by Joke. Good Fourth down. This guy's going to have to take advantage of that aggressive pass rush while they still can. You, you got to remember on our Madden 20 development stream, one of the things that we announced is... Uh, that's an adjustment that's no longer going to be there at Madden 20. You're no longer going to have that aggressive pass rush option. So you guys are going to milk it for the last time here at Madden 19. How about this? An early fourth down opportunity for Joe to get off the field. He's going to take a timeout. Didn't like something he saw defensively. How much pressure is there on Jay Wall to live up to that Patriots Club championship win? I think there is some pressure because you know what? Going into the club championship after he was the Patriots uh, winner, he was expected to make a lot of noise and make a deep run. And if I remember correctly, he got, he got bounced in the first round of that tournament. And that hurts Kimbo. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that added to a little bit of pressure on Jay Wall. When you take out a name like Skimbo and you represent the Patriots. Whoa, the defense from Joke Force and Turner. I think people were expecting him to make a skimbo like run in the tournament. And then when he didn't, it was like, oh, what's going on here? And then the, the other thing that was rough for him is he, he wasn't able to make, uh, you know, the Madden challenge, was short of the Madden ball. So he really did have his main run in that club championship. And, you know, once he made it there to that final 32 with all the other club winners, it just just didn't go as, as expected for him. Was that, was that Jay Wall's first live final? Yeah, against I Skimbo. So, yeah, yeah, against I, Skimbo. I think that was his first tournament ever. Yeah, I was there. So, at least at some cosmic level, that experience he can take into this game, really being the second big tournament he's playing under the bright lights, but it's got to be tough. You, you keep running into the top players. you got to take out Joke here in the round of 32. That's no joke. That's serious business. 
speaking of serious, shout out to Serious Mo. I, I, we really would have liked to have seen him here. I know he's a Dallas guy. He come, he's a Cowboy fan. He, it would have been nice to have seen him out here. Big shout out to our guy, Zach Lane, a.k.a. the great Serious Mo. What a job he did at the Madden Bowl. Oh, yeah. he's so good on the mic. All the players, Strafe and Skimbo, had problem. problem. Every, everybody was just phenomenal on the mic. And I can't wait for that to be something that we continue throughout the years. I love seeing the players at the Casper desk. It just opens up an additional opportunity for them. And beyond that, they're just able to give a level of insight that only players that are playing on their level are able to give. And it's just a real treat for us all. I like the other chair. They just switched out. They can't see on stream. They just switched Nick. Nick's chair out I got, here. I got a big desk. boy chair they now. put him in a high chair. Yay. Second down and six for Joe. Little draw play. Whole bunch of room up the middle. Ten. Five. He's going to walk into the end zone from 23 yards out, whipping out the draw play to put six on the board. I think walking to the end zone was a great way to put that. He just followed that block. Sauntered. Yes. <laughs> Calivanted. Yeah. One thing that we've talked about, too, is talk about the pressure on J-Wall. I wonder what the pressure's like for a guy like Joke when you have a big sponsor like Echo Fox. Yeah, it, actually it was funny. I was talking to Joke and he was saying he was on the fence about coming out here and then Echo Fox made the decision for him. <laughs> 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 they, they, they made him. <laughs> well, and, him but that's hey, what's nice about the here. sponsor. It's I don't know, uh, you know, do I want to spend the money? Do I want to spend the time? And then the sponsor's like, you know what? We got you. We're going to take care of you. Make it happen. This is what you get paid to do. And uh, RG and I and our producers need a Rico hand signal to English dictionary because he'll throw up hand signals. It's like semaphore flags out here. First and 10 for J Wall. He's going to get out of the pocket. Hey, if you were wondering if Matt Ryan was one of the fastest quarterbacks, he's not. No, not looking at like, all. Looking like me running out of the pocket. <laughs> Winded. But those five yards will keep you honest. And. Helps move the chains. One thing I've always noticed about Joke on defense is he has phenomenal user, and he does a good job of just stacking the box. Look at that box. Like, all that beef in there, the four-down rush. He's got the nickelback in there, the linebacker stacked over the D tackles, the corner inside. He just gives you a look that makes it really hard to run against, but he's also efficient at stopping the pass with that look as well. And he's always done a good job of that. He always seems to be in the nickel defense, setting it up in a very similar manner year after year. So it's very efficient. And you see him, he's going to move off the cornerback. He's going to move the linebacker in, stack him on the D tackle, move that safety up a little bit. Sometimes you'll see him slide that nickel back in on the edge. Handoff, three men up the middle. He is a, a, a beast to bring down as he'll get... Close to the line of the game. Now a third and inches for J-Wall, looking to respond to the early touchdown from Joe. Still first quarter action here from Dallas. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us. Nick Mazesco, RG, Rico Williams at the desk. We will get down to a final eight today, and you're going to see some high-powered matchups. So stay tuned here on Twitch. Make sure you let everybody know to tune in because we want this thing to grow. We want to see more tournaments like this throughout the year. Third and inches, handoff, Freeman runs into his own blocker. Did he get that over the line? No. No. And it looked like he had a hole to pick it up. I thought he picked it up. It looked like Joke also had a hole that he was going to shoot the gap through, and he just seemed to miss own. it right there. Now, you know we've talked about this. Fourth and inches, I am a QB sneak or a fullback dive guy. But we just watched that fullback dive get stopped when uh, Antoine ran it against Vinny. And I can get, fullback dive. I can dare care. Oh! oh! He broke it! Ten yards on the fullback dive. The question is, do you keep going back to it? Absolutely. Well, I like that he went to it out of a different formation. The problem is a lot of people want to run fullback dive out of goal line. And when you're going up against the players, the caliber of Joe J-Wall, they're going to have sneak D, fullback dive D, and toss defense against that goal line formation. So it's good to give them a different look, um, as J-Wall did right there. I, I thought that was a good play call. Now a first and 10 for Jay Wall, who picks up a first down. Maybe that loosens him up a little bit on the main stage. Round of 32 action. Three wide receivers set. Look at Tevin Coleman, wide left. Dropping back, Ryan, right side. There's nobody over there. How do you not have anybody on Julio Jones? He's down to the 24. I always wonder that. 
when it comes to like the Julio Joneses, the Randy Mosses, the Tyreek Hills, how do you not know where he is on the field at all times? That has to be your first priority on defense when you're playing that. You know, you know what ends up happening sometimes is you just get so caught up in all the adjustments you need to make. These guys make so many adjustments, Rico, pre-play, that sometimes you're just more focused on getting your D-line pinched correctly, the base line in there, moving your linebackers into spot, cross-manning, whatever it is you may, you may need to do. Shade your defense, uh, you know, up over top or underneath. So it, you, you, it's really easy to make that stuff the priority over identifying a guy like Julio Jones. First and 10, steps up, he'll get hit. Wow, he went into that throwing motion. He's lucky that ball didn't come out. Pick up a yard and gonna set up a second and nine. Now they're in the chat, they're saying, when the high ball is life, talking about that Julio Jones jump catching. If he doesn't I, throw that high ball, he might still be running. I agree with the chat and I agree with you, Nick. The, the high ball is a very effective mechanic and you definitely need to incorporate it in your game. But time and time again, I've seen it be a detriment to some of these top players because they just fall in love with it and they use it in situations where they don't need to and it ends up punishing them. It almost felt like in uh, in Madden 18, the possession catch. You see guys possession catch at times when they didn't need to because the possession catch was so good and so good at securing the ball. At times, you just got to let your player play the game. Yep. Habit, habits are a hard thing to break away from, Nick. That's why I throw so many interceptions. And I, I think this year, two, two, the, two of the uh, biggest habits that these players have fallen in love with is that high ball and, you know, that spin move. And that's going to be an adjustment for them going into Madden 20, uh, having to break away from that. And, and that's going to be tough for, for these, especially the top-level players. When there's a new game coming out every 12 months, and these games are, from a gameplay perspective, so different. You gotta adjust to something different each and every time a game comes out. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure. And uh, I, I've been there when you put all this work into Madden 19 and you're not sure that you, you know, you've know you gotten back what you've put into it and knowing that there's only a short window to get that stuff back, it, it really does mess with you. It can mess with your mental. It puts a different kind of stress on you. But. It and it's why you'll always see some new guys crop up in the competitive scene because they might not have been great in 19, but 20 may just fit their game style perfectly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, I, that's what I love about competitive Madden. Every year we're going to continue to see new people make a name for themselves, uh, be able to profit off of doing what they love, and that's awesome. It's, Jaywall gets that's stopped an here, and that's a big fourth and inches. And he's hurrying up. And, and I don't like this because Joke's obviously ready for the fullback dive. Maybe he has a toss in the audibles if you're Jaywall. You can be ready for that fullback dive all you want, but can you stop it? Yep. Yes, yes, you, you can. can. Did that answer your question, Rico? He just pointed Figured at it out. I think he just pointed at the screen. He just pointed Rico. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. stop it. Just wanted to make sure. Dude, I, hey, Rico was just asking a question. Man. Yeah, that's why I was like, whoa. I was can you stop question. it? Joke one. Yes, Rico. Thank you for asking. Have a wonderful and day. He also answered the question is, is he an offensive player or a defensive player? I wonder if J Wall had a toss in his audibles right there because hurrying up and then that situation after fullback diving, I mean, Joke's obviously ready for that fullback dive. I just feel like you got to give him a different look right there. I mean, that's huge to give the get all the way down to the two-yard line and not get points against a play of the caliber of Joke. I mean, that, there's certain things you can do to lose John Madden football games, and, that, and that's one of them. Yeah, the defense for J-Wall step up. Look at the left side. Nobody home. I don't, I don't know about how it looks at home or how it looks maybe on the big screen here at DreamHack, but to me, these, these Kansas City Chiefs uniforms look almost like the all-orange Cleveland Browns or the, the Clemson Tiger uniforms. I'm getting thrown off. <laughs> Play action pass. Big shot. Wow. He's taking a shot. It's one-on-one. -on -one. And a big play Dropping. made by Dez Trufant getting back there and making the tackle on Tyreek Hill. Yeah, that was a huge drop right there. Big play by Trufant, like you said, Nick. Keeps Joke backed up here. This Joke gonna, can't believe Hill didn't catch that. This is a third and awkward right here because you don't get this first down. You, you pretty much have to punt the rock. Unless you get it to a, a fourth and very manageable. But Joke needs to pick up a chunk here. Mahomes, pressure this picked pressure. up nicely. Looks underneath. Well, here's your fourth and short. Fourth and two from the 10-yard line. Yeah, this is very manageable. He's going to go for this. Um, a big part of it is it, it, it's hard when you shorten the field for your opponent. You, you, you're confident that you can, you know, maybe hold them to three, keep the lead anyway. Can Jaywall come up with a big defensive play? 
He's going to take a I timeout. Like that time. I like that timeout. This is such a big play if you're Jay Wall. Such an opportunity to get back momentum. You got to make sure you have the defense set up exactly the way you want in this situation. If you're Jay Wall, these are the plays you make to get back into this ball game. Fourth down and two. Joke looking for a big conversion after stopping Jay Wall on the last drive on fourth down. Joke's gonna have to, I believe he's gonna pass here. Nope, nope he's he running. runs it. That's a oh, big, man. big opening. Spin move on fourth and two. He picks up 17. I was like bluff run defense. He, he had, uh, you know, some guys in the box. He, he probably should have had his other linebacker over the D tackle stack, but I believe he was outside. When he hiked the ball, I mean, that hole just opened up like the Red Sea. That's frustrating if you're Wall to give that up. First and 10 now for Joke. Little draw play once again. Almost snuck out for a big gain. Still pick up four, bring up a second and six. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us. Here from Dallas, Texas, DreamHack's first ever Madden tournament. It's been a rousing success. 96 players. Start of the day yesterday, we're down to 32. Nick Mazesco, RG, Rico Williams at the desk. We'll be taking you all the way down to the round of eight today and tomorrow. We're giving out $25,000 in prize money. Big shout out to everybody in the chat joining with us, supporting the event for real. We appreciate you guys tuning in, engaging with us in the chat. Mahomes on second and six, looking at the flat. That's Travis Kelsey with the catch, down to the 35, third and two. And you see how Kelsey, Kelsey was able to hang on to that ball. I, I know Tyreek Hill is the absolute best threat we have right now on the Chiefs, but I feel like people don't use Kelsey enough. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you. Kelsey is, uh, but if it was me, Rico, I would, especially when I get to the red zone, consider subbing in Demetrius Harris at tight end and getting Kelsey in at my slot receiver that I can throw high balls to. Because a lot of times what these guys are doing is running the trips tight end, and it just isolates Kelsey over there all by himself, and uh, it, it gets harder to get him open. But if you can mix him up in the slot, have some receivers around him, it, it's going to create some of those openings. This is a big play right here. Fourth and three. We saw a run play pick it up for Joke earlier in the drive. Can he get it once again? Fourth and short. Conley in motion from left to right. Travis Kelsey on the right side of that line. Williams on the right hip of Mahomes with the shotgun. And move Conley right back over. Just gave him some wind sprints. Just testing out that stamina. Watkins in the slot hill, wide left. Now he's gonna move Hill all the way over to the right side. How big is this play? Can J-Wall get a momentum changing stop? Joe's gonna take the delay of game. Pump the ball. It's trust in your defense right there. It's interesting right there. He's been, play, he's been playing great defense so far. And now Jay Wall with a minute 24. RG goes without being said. No timeouts, but a buck 24. A touchdown here to end the half. Makes it a whole new ball game going into the second half. Yeah, absolutely. This is, and you know what? Jay Wall is fully equipped to do it. He has one of the best gun trips tight ends offenses we've seen all season. People have been speaking about it all season. The problem for him is going up against a guy like Joke. And when you're in this formation, you obviously see Joke running it. He's just going to be so comfortable against it. But Austin there you go. Hooper. Right, as I'm saying, he's comfortable. Jay Wall has two guys running wide open, butt naked down the field. Here's the only thing I question with Jay Wall here. With having no timeouts, you wonder, is that going to force him to make him move quicker than he would normally do? And you, when you're playing against somebody as good as Joe, you can't be too sassy on offense at the end of the half. I think it works to his advantage, over. actually. And here's why. As you've seen on these first two plays, when you have no timeouts, every once in a while you get a player who overthinks it. When you're under pressure on the clock, all of a sudden there's no time to think. You just got to make the reads. And sometimes these professional players know the game so well, they think too much. And sometimes it just needs to go back to the natural Madden progression. You know what, Nick? You're 100% right. I couldn't agree with you more right there. That's definitely a thing that happens. And look at that. Here three passes. He's into the end zone. Tevin Coleman. One extra point away from.
from tying this ball game up before the half. That was a great drive down the field. He was couldn't have been more efficient. Loose. It was loose with the ball. It was just making the reads. Offensive line held up. And now we got 32 seconds left. Joke still has plenty of time and two timeouts to get down the field. Breaking news when it feels like breaking. I just got an update that says Wayne Walton the Butcher from the old school KOTC is up 20 to nine on Decroft with a minute left. It, it was wow. funny because I saw Decroft. Obviously, I know who Wayne Walton is. Uh, he, former legend in the Madden community. Very, very old school. He, he was playing before I even thought about picking up the sticks competitively. And uh, he's always been tough. Anytime he shows up to a tournament, I said, Decroft, anybody know who this Wayne Walton is? I said, Decroft, don't sleep on him, man. Now, remember I told you it was going to be interesting because one thing Decroft had that nobody else had was that old school stick work. He was able to stop and go. He was able to make, move on a stop of a dime. Move on a dime. People hadn't seen that, the new era, that type of almost analog type movement. I'm with you. Wayne Walton, that's all he knew coming up. So that, <laughs> he was ready to be all over that. And I was curious, <laughs> styles make fights. He couldn't have drew a, a worse matchup for his stick work. Well, the funny thing about Wayne, too, is when I tell Decroft, he's tough, don't, don't sleep on him. Decroft says, really? Oh, man. He said, what is he running, RG? I said, I have no idea, and I guarantee you nobody else has any idea because you know Rico Wayne always was a very, very unique game plan. Wow. How about this? We're heading into the second half. Ten minutes of gameplay left. It's a 7-7 seven, seven ball game. That touchdown before the half for J-Wall is huge with Joke getting the ball to start the second half. Who do you guys got in the chat? We got a tie ball game at half. Like Nick said, give me a one for J-Wall. Give me a two for Joke. I want to see where you guys' heads are at. How y'all feeling? One for J-Wall, two for Joke. Who's going to take the ball game? For a spot in the round of 16. And I want to thank uh, my ears and eyes on the streets, VTech, a.k.a. Scoop Jackson, with the uh, breaking news. Thanks, VTech. Keep them coming. A lot of ones in the chat, fellas. It looks like a lot of love for j -Wall there. There's a couple twos. VTech better be hanging out tonight. VTech better not be heading home. I think VTech's hanging out every day. You know VTech. Just saying. And it's official. It's in the books. 20-9, to 9, Wayne won. Wow. wow. Huge upset right here's, there. Here's a great thing. I told old school's back, though. Old school is making a comeback here at DreamHack. And how about this? A third and one from Joke. Trying to get the offense going here in this round of 32 game. You, you know what it is, too? Is that the old school guys, I mean, this is the format that they play. A lot of, you know, J-Wall and... Uh, uh -oh. A lot of the D-Cross, the, the they didn't play a live event game until they, they made the live event. And, you know, that was their first time doing it. Guys Great like experience. Swan and Wayne, I mean, the only time they were ever playing in a tournament, it wasn't online. It was always at a live event, live and in-person, couch play style. So hey, 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 definitely hey, a format they're familiar with. How about this, a fourth hey, and hey, one hey, 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 hey. on the first drive of the second hey, half for Joe. Hey, 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 hey. Jay Wall. He's got a little bit of momentum. The momentum would completely swing his way with a stop on this play. So, Joke looking to pass. Looks to the right I side. Think. It's Travis Kelsey, the forgotten man, with the catch down to the 40-yard line. It looked, it looked like Jay Wall had two of his defenders on hard flats on the right side. You really need one in a hard flat, one in either a curl flat or a cloud flat, so you can take away the flat and the corner route. Instead, both of them underneath on that flat route lets Kelsey get wide open on the corner. It was great. I went out and talked to, to Vinny and Mike after that last game. And both of them said what, I, what you said, and I think what you said as well, that this tournament has energized the batteries of every Madden player who came here. It's gotten people who maybe weren't as hungry coming in. Now they've gotten to taste a little success. They got a little, little momentum going. And now they're looking at Madden 20 with a whole new set of eyes. Absolutely. I there's so many cool stories out there. I think one of my favorite ones is this guy, Papa Reed. He's the father of a player out there, Sizzle. I don't know how he did in the playoffs, but um, Sizzle, he said, is a, a young 19-year-old man, did, played some tough games yesterday, was able to make it into the playoffs, and, he's, and the, his father told me, he said, you know what? I'm enjoying this so much. He said, watching my boy compete, it's like when I used to 
be able to watch him play high school football because Sizzle was a quarterback Ooh. in high school. Ooh. So Papa Sizzle was saying, you know, this just gives me the opportunity to see my boy continue to compete at something he loves. And it had him jumping up and down when he'd see his son make a big That's play. Crazy. And those are just the type of stories I, I love to hear. And, and by the way, Vinny so was awesome. stoked to be able to check out the rest of DreamHack. Because we're over here in the Mad World, but there's so much going on here at the convention. Yeah, a lot of other games. If you're a gamer, I mean, this is the place for you, right? Look it up. Think about it. On our way here, we were talking to those folks. We were getting tips on Smash Brothers. They were talking to us about. RG got validation that Snake's perfectly okay to play in Smash Bros. I, I, I try. I try to get um, the counter for Pikachu. So when I go back to the office and Skip off tries to kick my butt, I'd have something for him. But they told me uh, there's no counter. Yeah, they said it's news. too deep. It's too, too deep good. for us to break it down for you now. And then we were still talking that Golden Eye trash back and forth. By the way, in the chat. If you think you're good at Goldeneye, I'm curious. Let me know. Because I was the greatest Goldeneye Facility. player. Of all time. It's not the question. Proximity if you think, mines in the basement. It's not the question if you think you're good or not. It's did you ban Odd Job or no? Was Odd yes. Job allowed or not? Always. And here's where I'll tell you. Some people didn't you ban him. You don't have to ban him because Proximity anybody mines. who plays knows you don't use Odd Job. And Arlie, we all know you couldn't pick him. Everybody See, in the chat, if you play Goldeneye, fair to say, uh, ban Odd Job or no? Odd Job allowed? I, I had the true scum tactic. They might be too young I, for this. I played with some younger cousins. I told them that Jaws was the best player in the game. Oh, no, yeah, you're terrible. <laughs> Horrible. Go, go, go! Joke with a drive, nine yards out from taking the lead as he has milked this entire third quarter clock, down under two minutes to go. This is the first drive of the second half, and RG Joke methodical working down the field. Yeah, taking away some of that time, too. He's already three minutes into this drive. The clock's continuing to tick. All right, and breaking news. What it feels like After this game, we will be into our round of 16. We're going to make sure that all the games are finished in our round of 32. So just want to let the chat know out there, we will be taking a little bit of an extended break. But we're going to be coming right back after this. And we're going to be with sure a ton of, of those games. Action. Yep, and it's going to be a lot of those we'll, games. We'll show, I'm being told we'll show as many as we can. As we can. Time, 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 time permitting, time we're going to bring you guys as many of the... And how about this? If, if you're weekend. out there, as the kick is up and is good, it's a 14-7 lead now for Joke. If you're out there here at DreamHack, you love the game of Madden, maybe you're not in the tournament anymore, fill up those seats right in front of the main stage because you're about to get a ton of games up there. We want to see that crowd rolling for the round of 16. Two wins away if you make it to the round of 16. You only need two wins to get into the money. That'll be fun. Two things. How about Joke? The fullback dive just seems to be back. Joke scoring his touchdown. With Helps the, with having the Devontae Freeman. He's school. so good. And secondly, everybody in the chat seems to agree with us that, yeah, our job. Got to ban no, it. No go. No go. And that's how you can tell that they're actual players. Yeah, absolutely. I was surprised that we got uh, as many people as we did that were familiar. Oh, Picked up by Joke. A huge turnover. And Jake Wall, he's looking up going, cover up the ball, big fella. Joke with a huge opportunity. It's not only is the turnover so big, I always talk about it, but it's the, where the turnover is on the field on j 25-yard line. Joke in prime possession, even if he does nothing on offense here, able to make it a two-possession ball game. Wow. Chat's going crazy. Some of them are happy about Joke. Some of them are saying the strips are garbage. See, I think a lot of people... in you watch the chat. Joke is one of those players that you love to hate sometimes. Remember in his earlier days in the MCS era, oh, he would he would get inside rage, his head. Rage he'd joke. Rage joke. Yeah. Rage joke. <laughs> now he's a lot more cool, calm, and collected. Poise joke is at least three times better than rage joke. That's the cool part about competitive Madden, especially getting to know these players, is you can see their development over the years. Their personalities change, gameplay changes, and there's Jay Wall. He's looking for one of those fumbles back the other way, laying the lumber with Deion Jones. That was just a good high-level play. It looked like Jay Wall had great defense. Joke had a small window to throw the open, get the crossing route open, throws it for a good gain. I'll tell you another thing about Joke. He is at least four times better at basketball than you think he would be when, you, when looking at him. Joke and ball. Yeah. yeah. Joke and who? Good point, You know guard. who can hoop? Tobin. Kertobin can hoop for He's sure. He's tough. Kertobin Prodigy. Was tough. Kiv, Prodigy's Kiv, tough. Kiv's pretty tough out there. Kiv will fight. 
You know who's not tough? Prodigy was tough. You no, know not tough? Joe Rice. You and Joe Rice were, Joe Rice were hanging big out. Battle. We Joe hanging Rice out. was a phenomenal wide receiver, though. I see people hating on Rice's receiving ability. When I saw him out there in the gym, Rice was putting up numbers, and I stand by it. Receiver wasn't the problem. It's when he had to play safety. He, he, played, he put on conservative play ball and just let everybody catch it in front of him. All I know is when Joe's aligned out wide, you got to look for him on the go route because he's probably getting open. Third and five. Oh, Too much room for Patty Mahomes. They'll pick up the first down. Now, Joe and I had fun playing basketball because nobody passed to us, so we just hung out on the wings and talked. And then I hit a fairway over him to win the game. Never, hashtag never forget. Crypto Stalker says J Wall's about to pull an RG versus Dynasty and break his controller. Just let it go. RG, you let it go, Crypto. Breaker? Let the pass be the pass. <laughs> I said hashtag never forget. That's not quite what I meant, but okay. <laughs> Appreciate everybody hanging out with us. Hope you're having a wonderful Saturday, a weekend of competitive Madden with EA Play next week. Whole lot of new Madden information coming out, and I hope you guys are enjoying the final competitive tournament here at Madden 19 at DreamHack Dallas. Run to the outside. Ooh. Fan moment. Oh, it's oh. Falls out, oh, but it's picked oh, up. He gets that. to the end zone. Oh, no. A roller coaster of emotions, and it ends oh, up with a touchdown oh. for Joe. They're both laughing at it. Oh, that's one's weird. laughing for one reason. Another one's giving you that. <laughs> I can't oh, believe man. that happened. That Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> Poor. I yeah, mean, sometimes. that's tough if you're Jay Wall. You get stripped. You fumble. He's already in field goal range. And then you pop him with a hit stick to try to get your fumble back. The ball comes loose. Not only does the tight end just immediately recovers it, he fights forward and falls in for a touchdown. That is some adversity you're going to have to fight through right now if you're Wall. you got to have a short memory, though, though, if you want to be successful. He's got plenty of time. He's got all three timeouts. He's just got to find the end zone. That's part of football, man. Football is an ugly game, dude. It, it gets nitty and gritty in there. And... Another fumble! Oh, no. ah, picked up by Joke! The fumble king! Echo! Joke! And here's where I'll tell you as a former player, I'm at peace now if I'm Jay Wall. Today, it wasn't meant for me. When you fumble like that and it doesn't, you just realize today is not your day. You know what it is, and I've been in this situation if you're Jay Wall too. It's just so frustrating because you, you're feeling good. You spent all that money to get here. I mean, it's, it's not easy to always come to these events. You got to get your hotel, you got to get your flight, your entrance fee, you got to eat. Maybe you have a good time with your friends. So it's an investment, but you're expecting, you know, that return on investment. And when things like this start to happen, you're trying to focus on the game, but you just can't help but start thinking about your, how your investment may be going to waste right now. Granted, it's a great experience. You get to have some fun. You get to come out. You get to enjoy the atmosphere, enjoy the community. But knowing a guy like Jay Wall, he's in it to win it, and, and he's got to be very frustrated right now. Jay Wall's going to have to get himself some dip and dots to feel better about this game. It's a first down for Joke, and Rico, we were talking about it in the last game. This is where you see the professional player in Echo Fox Joke. Look at him, turns on two clock, he's running that play clock all the way down using as much time as he can. Yes, and he's going to make sure he does not beat himself. And that's one of the things you like about Joe in that old joke would have gotten his own way a lot of times. He, if that would have been the fumbles that happened to Jay Wall, if that would have happened to Joke back in the day, we would have, we would have seen controls coming over the thing. He'd have been kicking the console. But he worked he would on have that. But he went to the lab on himself. Not only yeah. his Madden game, he went to the lab on himself and he has made leaps and bounds in the way he conducts himself. I tip my hat to Joke. He's the consummate pro now. Yeah, and it, a lot of credit for him. A lot of people um, aren't willing to look themselves in their mirror and say, what do I need to improve on uh, and what changes do I need to make? It, it's not about what anyone else is doing or what the game's doing. It's about what I'm doing. And Joke was able to do that, and it, it's he's reaping the benefit. He's been reaping the benefits of it. Joke takes a knee. Jaywall takes a timeout. Real quick, I like to have some fun with the chat. Thinking this game's over. We're talking about the basketball team. Chat, if you were putting together your starting five for a b-ball game, but you can only use people from the Madden community, what does your starting five look like? 
Oh, Can my. I give you mine? I would love to hear yours. I have Prodigy at the point, Kratobin at the two. I oh, oh, what the heck? heck? We're talking No one track. cares about your basketball team. No one cares about you. Forget your top five. We got ball game. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, I, carry, anyway, carry I, on. Now I, we do, do care again. Right. Speaking of top five, that's the conversation that I have for the Sweet 16. The top five this year in the MCS era. Oh, I got, I got, I got a good list for that one. But you got Prodigy at the point. I got Prodigy at the point. We're Tobin at the two. Yep. Uh, for my three, I'm gonna go with. Gun, gun, gun. I bet you. Dubby. Got, you're gonna forget some people. Dubby at the three. I was gonna put him at the three or the four. There we go. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna put W at the four. I'm going Lawrence at my five. Lawrence and I'm going Skimbo at the three. It's a good pick. You're leaving out. There's a couple of guys I feel like you're leaving out out there. Nini, it's pretty good. Chaos. How does Chaos not make your team? I think he's a ringer. That's like using a You got strength, and we're can't. playing together the most efficient team, Rico. Buck 48 to go. J Wall, a little bit of life. He's got one time out. I watched Strafe and lose to Yo Mama. He did. He did. I saw that too. Javon, Javon popped him. Yes. Javon was good. Ghost popped me that same day. To be fair, Javon was. Can, can I use Madden staff on my team? I want Corbin on my team. You will. You pick Corbin over Neek. You you're in trouble. I didn't say Corbin over Neek. I want both of them on my team. You you should be careful. I watch Neek shoot free throws. Don't, don't let Corbin find out you're picking Neek over him. Here's my question. Do you, chat. Me and Dave Grunfeld versus RG and Corbin. Who do y'all like in that two on two? RG and Corbin. No way. Without a doubt. Yeah, not, I like me. Without a doubt. RG is a banger in the post. And He'll throw some bows down there. He's like Vlade Divac. <laughs> like another fumble. Oh my goodness. And that's when you just sit back and you say, another fumble? Oh, right, suspect is another one. Kiv, Kiv had a good list right Kiv. there. Kiv, Kiv is, you gotta get Suspect, Kiv's chaos, on my team. Bam, strafing the chaos. You can't use Bam. You can't use chaos. You can't use strafing. Oh, here comes Jay Wall. Oh, some life. Need Stumbling and kick. bumbling to the three yard line. We're, we're, we're kind of dismissing this game like it's been over. The onside uh, kicks are tough. If in this he game. gets the onside kick, though, it's about to be witty. I say That's onside kicks like are tough, say. but let's remember Madden Bowl. I mean, strafing's got to have some talks about onside kicks and how it worked out for him. Yeah, and it, you don't want to get in talks about onside kicks with Monster either. Because do you remember? That was the club championship series of 18, was it? When Monster got hit with the multiple oh, yeah, onside. Oh, yeah, Orlando. That, that, what was that, oh. Madden? That was Madden 18. Tough times for him. That was uh, the legend got him. Primetime 50G. I don't, like, what, I don't like that throw. You need to get to the end zone. You're throwing it to Austin Hooper at the 10-yard line. Yeah, Suspect's in the chat. He, he says what up. Yeah, Suspect definitely makes my, my team for sure. Suspect, Chaos. Thinking Lawrence, too. I, I like that size on Lawrence in the post. Third and goal. I, I don't know. Oh, Ooh, a little low pass is caught by Calvin go. Ridley. And just like that, I'm not saying that the door is open, but it is not locked, latched and locked. As the kick is up, and it, it's good. It's all going to come down to this onside kick. This is it. And we've seen it. You know, Matt, and the, some Everybody bad know? breaks for Jay Wall, but then he's able to block the kick, get himself back in it. Not, not here, though. That's ball game. And that's ball game. GG's in the chat. They're standing up. They're shaking hands.